Now, three years after she last competed, Samoya Campbell-Johnson won the 800 meters at the JOA J3's Olympic Destiny Series on Saturday. Now, as we hear in this report, it has been a tough road back for the former UTEC athlete. A year after claiming the silver medal at the 2015 World University Games in a personal best 1 minute 59.26 seconds, Samoya Campbell-Johnson was one of two Jamaican women who qualified to compete in the 800 meters at the Beijing Olympic Games in 2016. Shortly after those games, she switched camps from MVP to be training partners with U.S. national record holder over 800 meters, Ajay Wilson in Philadelphia. But the high hopes of the now 27-year-old took a near career-ending turn when she was injured in a freak incident. One day I was run running, my lace pulled and I just fell down and um, I tear my meniscus and I came back to Jamaica to do a, do a surgery. I did it in January 2019 and unfortunately it didn't went well and I had to go back again and did a, do another one in November. So I did two knee surgeries in less than a year. And it didn't end there. After that, in 2020, I had to go back and do two minor surgeries again. So it's been a very long, long road for me. Campbell Johnson clocked 2 minutes 11.78 seconds to win her pet event ahead of a small field on Saturday. But for her, time was of little consequence. This morning when I got up to um, get dressed, I was crying because I'm like, God... Thank you very much because it moved from I couldn't walk at all and then I have to learn how to walk again, I have to learn how to run again. So I am very pleased with the time. As I said, the time didn't matter this morning. If I had run four minutes, I would be very happy. The former Alphansas Davis High, formerly Spalding High, and the UTEC standout is now focused on attaining the Olympic qualification standard of 1 minute 59.50 and making Jamaica's team to the Tokyo Olympic Games. Karen Madden, TVJ Sports.